guys welcome back to world illuminate 11 on this friday i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here and if you are new to the channel then a really more warm welcome to you really glad to have you over on the channel also it's christmas eve today merry christmas everyone i hope you're all really getting into that christmas spirit and you know just really getting into the place of letting go and having fun this Christmas because that's what we're really being guided to do. We're being guided to just be in the place of living in the present moment. You know, be in the present moment, have fun, love and, you know, be joyful and sing and dance. You know, whatever it is that you enjoy doing, just do that and really be in the place of letting go, letting your inner child come out to play. You know, because Christmas is really, you know, when you think about that energy that children are in when it's Christmas time of the excitement, you know, waking up, looking forward to opening up presents and, you know, just enjoying themselves, laughing, really just being in that present moment and enjoying themselves. That's what we're being asked to do, to really let go of any worries, any fears when it comes to this journey. Give yourself a break with the message that's coming through from the angels, to give yourself a break and just be in this present moment. Enjoy your day because you are in this present moment your life is happening right now as it is christmas now so you're being asked to be in this present moment and enjoy yourself choose to feel good choose to have some fun you know, do the things that you enjoy doing and, you know, and just really let go and let your inner child come out to play, you know, because your inner child loves to have fun and loves to just be in that place of enjoying yourself. So you're being asked to really just do that, you know, raise your vibration, do things that you enjoy doing, just really be in the place of, of, you know, of feeling good. That's the message that's coming through. So, you know, let go of any fears of any worries when it comes to the journey give yourself that break uh, you know for a few days and just really be in the present moment and know that everything is moving forward as it is meant to there's nothing that you can be doing to make things happen and your worries and your fears are not really going to do anything to move things forward so you're being asked to just be in the place of trusting that it is all happening on the energetic level that the angels and the spirit guides are working with your divine masculine to help things to move forward and every Everything is exactly where it is meant to be right now for your journey and to help things to move forward. So you're being asked to enjoy yourself. That's the message that's coming through and, you know, to raise your vibration as well. And actually, that is what will help your journey to move forward. The more you're feeling good in yourself and, you know, enjoying yourself, that is what actually helps your journey to move forward. And, you know, I am spending my Christmas with my niece and nephew. I'm hosting Christmas for the first time ever in my life. And, you know, I know it will be quite busy, but there's only four of us. But at the same time, you know, it's it's going to be good because, you know, one's four and a half years old, the other one's nearly nine. So, and I've brought, like, bought, like, games and you know just um things that we'll do together and we're just going to have fun and you know i'm letting my inner child come out to play even though i'll be do playing the adult as well you know it's doing all the cooking and you know the running around but i'm also going to enjoy myself so that's what we're being asked to do this christmas and i'll let you know how it all goes with hosting christmas for the first time but i am looking forward to it so i just really wanted to jump on today to just do a quick message to check in and see what's going on with the energy for the divine masculines and the divine feminines this christmas so that is our question i'm bringing in four decks today i am going to bring in a new deck that i've not used on the channel yet it's called the wise dog tarot it's got dogs on it um on, on all the cards and when i saw it i just knew that i had to get this deck i am such a big lover of dogs and you know dogs play such a huge part as well uh, on the twin flame journey you know they're all about the loyalty of the divine masculine and you know this is why when i with the, which is the other deck that we'll be using when my divine masculine opens up deck i put the dog in front there because you know i've found dogs to be playing uh you know ever since i started my journey a really big part of my twin flame journey and this particular dog i've talked about this before it came and it sat you know, I had gone to the hospital one day and I was sitting in the park by myself. It came with its owner, left its owner on the other side and it came, you know, like 
a, a, while, a while away from where we were and it came and decided, you know, um, by, right by my feet and um, and he sat with me all the time, you know, up until I was with the one who got up and left. And I just, it just really warmed my heart. So it's all about that loyalty. And I have so many other, you know, sort of stories or things that happened, beautiful things that happened with dogs as well. So when I saw this deck, I just knew I had to get it. So we're going to check in to see what's going on with the Divine Masculines with this deck. So thank you, angels. What is going on with the Divine Masculines this uh, this Christmas? What is going on with the Divine Masculines this Christmas? Thank you, angels. What is going on with the Divine Masculines this Christmas? I think, I think that's that, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And then thank you, angels. What messages are coming through from the Divine Masculines to the Divine Feminines this Christmas? Okay, is there anything else? I think that's that. Yep. Okay, and then for the Divine Feminines, we're bringing in the Crystal Unicorn Tarot. So thank you, angels. What messages? What is going on with the Divine Feminines this Christmas? What is going on with the Divine Feminines this Christmas? Thank you, angels. What else is going on? Is there anything else with the Divine Feminines this Christmas? Okay. And then we'll, we'll finish off as well with the animal spirit guys so it's all the animals today with the animal spirit guys to see what messages are coming through for the divine masculines thank you angels for this christmas and then for the divine feminines thank you angels for this christmas what is coming in for the divine feminines okay so let's see what cards have come out here right so the cards let me just turn these round for the divine masculine so i can it's the first time using this deck, so I just need to see what cards have actually, what these cards are. Okay, so the first card that I'm seeing is the lover's card. So this is powerful. You know, this is what they're thinking about, that love with you, their divine feminine. They know that this is a love that comes from the creator, a divine love that is divinely guided as well. So, you know, even if they may not be with you, their divine feminine, they are thinking about this love. And it's really powerful because if you look at this card, you know, it's got the two dogs. That's the dog with sort of the moon, you know, that sort of darkness, and the dark dog as well. And then the white dog with, with the sunshine, that is you that is your divine masculine so you know your divine masculine is really thinking about you and them as the lovers they know that this journey that you're on is divinely guided and you know you're the one who brings them that sunshine into their life so whilst they are not with you this christmas you know they're really thinking about you know the fact that there is there is not that warmth or that sunshine that is coming into their life you know, and they are thinking about you because you are the lovers. So they're thinking about you this Christmas. They're thinking about the the happiness that comes in when they're with you. They're thinking about, you know, the fact that they have all this love for you, that you are the lovers. You know, they know that this is a beautiful love, the divine love that comes from the creator. So they are thinking about you this Christmas. So really powerful that that card has come out for the divine masculines. And then the next card that has come out, so the next card that has come out is the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords really is about that stalemate, sort of the higher self and the ego, you know, the ego coming in, sort of bringing in the fears for the Divine Masculines. You can see the dog there, it's sort of sitting, it's like icy and snowy where, where it is. And, you know, it's just looking like it's kind of frozen. It doesn't know what to do. So this is like, you know, that ego that comes in to... You really sort of bring in the fears for your divine masculine to stop them in a way from being able to follow the messages that are coming through from their higher self to asking them to move forward. So that is about that stalemate, you know, that sort of fear coming in to stop them from doing the things that they truly would like to do to be with you, their divine feminine, you know, with as as the the lovers where, where did that card go i picked the wrong card the lovers card so you know that's what they are think that so there is that stalemate that is coming in for them the fears that are coming in for them and then the next card that has come out here for the divine masculines is the six of um that's the six of swords the six of swords is about walking into karma water so even whilst those fears are coming in for them they are really thinking about you know moving into karma waters moving more towards listening to their higher self and getting away from this stalemate where their fears the fears come in and stop them from doing what they truly want would like to do so they are thinking about moving into karma waters and moving forward towards their divine feminine as well 
And then the next card that has come out is the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is all about that spiritual path. You know, they are on their spiritual path. They are growing spiritually. They are, you know, understanding things from a deeper level when it comes to this love that they have with you. So they are on their spiritual path when it comes to this journey. And they are moving forward. The next card that has come out is, and you know, they are moving forward as well. You can see actually there's all these dogs here that are moving forward just like the divine masculine collective on their spiritual path moving forward you know so they are moving forward when it comes to this journey and you know they are really starting to see things from a different perspective that is why they also know that there is more going on when it comes to this love with you their divine feminine the next card that came out is the king of cups so this is the you know this the sort of the place that they're in this christmas they are holding that cup of love for you but you know they are not moving forward to tell you how they feel but they have all this love for you so they are that king who loves you their divine feminine they're thinking about you as the lovers so if they're not moving forward towards you you know they are holding on to that cup of the love that they have for you and you know that is what they are doing this christmas and the next card that has come out for the divine masculines is the five of cups and you can see there that dog is looking really sad you know the, it's just looking sad it's about that loss and you know feeling that they're missing you their divine feminine so you know it, well even though the fears are coming in and stopping them from maybe contacting you or doing what they truly would like to do they're also feeling that sadness that there's something missing in their life and they are missing you so it's you know this is showing you that you know they're thinking about you and they're missing you this christmas they know that there's something missing in their life and you know they're wanting to be with you so really powerful that that has come out as well and the next card that has come out here for the divine masculines is the strength card so i really feel that this is they are sort of gathering the strength to get through this christmas as well you know they may be in a situation where they are with a coming in their comic situation you know may, where there may be children and you know they really would rather be somewhere else their mind is elsewhere they're thinking about you the lovers and you know their mind is over there so they are sort of gathering the strength to get through this christmas period and even if they are just in their own fears as well, you know, they are really sort of gathering the strength to get through the spirit so that, you know, they can just come out on the other side and, you know, be able to get on with, with things to help to move things forward. So they, there is that strength that is coming in for them as well to help them. And the next card that has come out here is the, is the seven of, um, of cups i just have to look really closely to see what this is so the seven of cups is really about setting you know it's about options so there are choices and options that are coming in for the divine masculines to help them to move forward you know this is why they are sort of needing the strength to just get through this christmas period so that they can be able to move forward and choose or make changes in their life you know make choices that will help them to move forward when it comes to this love so they are sort of just trying to get through this Christmas period so that they can be able to then move things forward and make changes and you know go for the choices that will help them to change things in their life and then the next card that has come out here is um the knight of pentacles has also come out and the knight of pentacles is about that positive eventual outcome so you're being shown here that there is going to be a positive eventual outcome for the divine masculines when it comes to this journey because they're thinking about you their divine feminine they are in this place of feeling that there is something missing in their life they they're not feeling happy you know even this christmas they're just gaining the strength to get through the christmas and you know they are going to keep moving forward because they are on their spiritual path as well so they are really there is going to be that positive eventual outcome they're making choices as well that will help them to be able to move forward towards their divine feminine so this is about that positive eventual outcome and the last card that came out is the knight of cups so this is about that love that they hold for you again so you know we had the king of cups we had the knight of cups so they have that love for you you can see that dog is holding that cup on his nose it's like you know it's, it's like right there they keep thinking about it they they know that they have this love for you and there are roses as well um 
on this card as well so that's about all that love that they have for you which is what they would want to move forward to tell you about you know to move forward to tell you that they hold this uh they have all this love for you so really powerful this is what they're thinking about you know the fact that that glass is sort of on you know that cu the cup is right on the nose of that dog is showing you that this is all that they're thinking about you know this is where their mind is even if their body is sort of in the situation where they're gaining strength to get out of the situation or to get through the situation that they may be in you know whether it's in a comic situation this christmas and spending time with family their mind is so, sort of right there it's everything else that's going on that they can really see right in front of them is just the love that they have for you and that's what they are thinking about this christmas so really powerful that those have come out so the messages that they have for you this christmas so the first one is I am working on healing my life, including healing my childhood wounds and on clearing my karmic debts so that I can be free to be with you. The moment I am ready, I'll be knocking on your door. So really powerful. The moment they're ready, they're knocking on your door to tell you of that cup of love that they have for you. So they are working on healing their life and, you know, their childhood wounds, clearing their karmic debts as well. That's the situation that they're in, that they know that they just have to gain the strength to get through this Christmas, you know, in this situation so that they can make the options and choices that they need to make to move things forward. And they're saying to you, I am working on clearing my coming debts so I can be free to be with you. The moment I'm ready, I'll come knocking on your door. And they're also saying to you, you are my inspiration and I'm very grateful for you. Without you even realizing it, you motivate me to do bigger and better things with my life. So you are motivating them to do bigger and better things with their life. That is what they're thinking about, you know, this Christmas. That's what they want you to know as well. And, you know, that is what is motivating them to really just gain the strength to get through the Christmas and then to make the choices that they need to make to move things forward with you. They're also saying, please be patient with me. I am doing my best, even though it is taking me some time to free myself from the clutches of my fearful mind. I have to integrate my ego first. I'm working on it and I know I will get there. So that's about that, uh, you know, that um, stalemate situation. That's that ego that's coming in, that's bringing in the fears for them. That's why they're saying to you, Divine Feminine, this Christmas, please bear with me i am doing my best to work on integrating my ego so that they can be able to release these fears so they can make the choices that they need to make to move forward towards you and they're also saying i would really would love for us to have another chance at this love a chance to do things differently i hope you will be willing to give me the opportunity to prove how much i have grown up and changed so this is what they're thinking about this christmas about the fact that you know all they want is a chance to start again with you a chance to show you that you know they've changed and they've grown up and that is what they truly would like you to know this christmas so really really powerful you know that's about that dog with the cup on on his nose is that's all that they're thinking about that you know they look at the situation they're in and they think this is not what i want for my life and i really would like that opportunity or chance to start again and they're also saying every night i go to sleep i yearn for your touch my desire for you and your gorgeous body is more than i can even begin to describe so you know this christmas they're missing you they're really just wishing that they were with you holding you tight and spending their time with you and the last card that came out is i'm gaining the strength and courage to approach you more and more every day so they are gaining this the strength and courage the fear comes in and holds them back but they're letting you know that they are gaining the courage more and more every day and the cards that came out for you the divine feminine Wow. So the first card that has come out, so there's a few cards. The first card that has come out is the 10 of one. So you're being asked to release the burdens, release the burdens, the fears, the worries when it comes to this journey, be in the present moment, enjoy your Christmas. You're being asked to release what needs to go. This may also be, you may be in a situation in which you feel that, you know, a comic situation where you feel that this Christmas is all just a burden on your shoulders. You're being asked to release this. So release the fears, release the worries, be in the present moment enjoy your christmas but also if you are in a situation that you just feel that this is not working for you you're being asked to release the burdens 
And then the next card that came out for you, the Divine Feminine, is the Two of Pentacles. And this is about balance. So you're being asked to find that balance, balancing your emotions, being in a place of feeling balanced in all areas of your life as well. And then the next card that has come out here for you, the, the Divine Feminine. Okay, so we've got... Um, We've got here the five of one. So there may be some conflict that is going on in your life. You know, sometimes Christmas, you know, they can be when you're around family and stuff, there can be some conflict that happens as well. You know, on the Christmas or, you know, people have too much to drink. Some conflict can happen. But, you know, this can also just be that conflict in your mind. You know, worrying about this journey, about your divine masculine, maybe missing your divine masculine and really getting into the place of that inner conflict and fear and worry, which is what you're being asked to release. And the next card that has come out here is the six of cups. So you're being shown that the past is coming back. Your divine masculine is coming back and they're saying to you, please be patient with me. I'm doing what I need to do. So the past is coming back. So it's about you releasing any fears when it comes to this journey and know that it is all happening in the time that it is meant to for your journey. So the past is coming back. That's your divine masculine coming back. It may also be you thinking about memories, maybe of Christmases you've spent with your divine masculine or, you know, times you've spent together and, you know, reminiscing this Christmas as well. But you're being shown that, you know, it is though your divine masculine is coming back to you at the right time. So it's about you trusting. And when they do, they're just really going to rush in. That's the Knight of Swords. When they're ready, as they were saying, they're just going to rush in to tell you how they feel. So, you know, they will move forward and they'll tell you how they feel. And that is going to bring you that happiness as well. You know, you're going to have that happiness with your Divine Masculine and, you know, and enjoy your life together. But this is also, you know, we're talking about what's happening this Christmas. This is also about you releasing the fears, releasing the worries and being in a place of happiness. Be in a place of just enjoying yourself and having fun and you know and enjoying your christmas but overall this is really showing you that you know the things that you desire are coming in and you are going to have all that you truly desire with your divine masculine because the past is coming back you know the six of cups has come out the past is coming back for you and that is going to bring in all that you truly desire so really beautiful cards coming in there so the cards that came out for the divine masculines from the um, animal spirit guides the first one is the chameleon and they say stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events so this is about them this christmas sort of just staying in the background you know just let it gaining the strength in their life to just really get on with things you know with this christmas so that it comes it, it sort of go you know they get past this christmas so they can move on to make changes in their life so they are sort of just being in the background right now and you know just getting on with things that's the message that i'm really getting just really sort of getting on with things so that they can get through this christmas because they're not in they are in this place where they are really not happy because they're missing you their divine feminine and the last card that came out is the chimpanzee and it says use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem or get answers to your question so this is about your divine masculine you know they are using their intuition they are just really d going deeper into themselves as well so they may be in this place of just being there but not really being there because they are just sort of analyzing the situation as well just really trying to think of how they can make a change because they look at the situation that they're in and they know that they want to change so they are using their intuition they are also just thinking about what it is that they can do to make changes in their life and the cards that came out for you the divine feminine first one is the shark and it says trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation so this is about you listening to your intuition again you know and trusting your intuition when it comes to this love that's about you knowing you know how you feel and knowing that your divine masculine has got all this love for you and that they are moving forward towards you and it's about you trusting in that let go of the 3d situation what is going on this christmas and trust in your intuition and the last card that came out is the unicorn and it says indulge your creative imag imaginative and magical side through some form of artistic expression so this is powerful that this has come out for you the divine feminine this christmas 
you're being asked to just enjoy yourself, you know, to really be in the place of, you know, being creative, imaginative, and, you know, bringing out your magical side. That's about you joy, enjoying yourself, you know, doing things that you love doing and, you know, express yourself somehow in whatever way, whether it is artistic, you know, dancing, singing, whatever it is that helps to raise your vibration this Christmas. That's what you're being asked to do so that you really be in that place of enjoying yourself, having fun, you know, being happy in yourself and being in that place of trusting that when it comes to your journey, everything is being sorted. Your divine masculine has got all this love for you. They're thinking about you this Christmas. They're thinking about how to move things forward. They're sort of just getting through, finding the strength to get through this Christmas so that they can be able to move forward towards you. All they have to do is to work on integrating their ego and you know and making taking the steps that they need to make to move forward towards and they're just going to rush in because that past is coming back to you i hope you have a great christmas guys merry christmas to you all and i'll see you on the next video love peace positivity and light